What is the Sandbox? Sand. Sand is a blockchain-based virtual gaming ecosystem. The network enables anyone to create, trade, and monetize digital property called land. But how does Sand work? Is it a good investment? Keep on watching this video to learn all about this crypto. Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Animations, the channel where we explain to our viewers about the different types of cryptocurrencies and everything new investors should know. In today's video, we will talk about what Sandbox Sand is. So be sure to be attentive, because you clearly don't want to miss out on an amazing opportunity to win a giveaway of a $25 crypto coin of your choice. Also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads. Now, with the intro out of the way, let's get into our topic for today. The gaming industry invests more resources in bringing their projects on the blockchain, especially in creating metaverses to enhance the gaming experience. After Facebook rebranding into Meta in October 2021, Metaverse gaming peaked in popularity. Metaverses on blockchain transform how people interact with each other and redefine the ownership of in-game digital assets. One of the hottest blockchain game projects that offer players a unique virtual experience is the Sandbox. It unleashes players' creativity by contributing to the gaming items and virtual land all based on NFTs. Sandbox is an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum network that acts as the native asset of the Sandbox virtual economy. The maximum supply of sand will be 3 billion, and about 900 million tokens are circulating now. Strangely, for a project that loves to call itself decentralized, a majority of the total supply is allocated to the company, team, advisors, and investors. Launched in 2011 by Pixel, the Sandbox was initially a mobile gaming platform intended to rival Minecraft. It became a hit and generated more than 40 million downloads worldwide. But in 2018, the co-founders Arthur Madrid and Sebastian Bourget decided to explore the potential of creating a 3D metaverse on the blockchain. The new Sandbox project was released in 2020 and became one of the fastest growing games in the crypto world along with Axie Infinity and Decentraland. The Sandbox game is played on a massive map of segmented areas it calls land. Each piece is its own NFT, and they sell for thousands of dollars each. Their goal is to let users genuinely own their creations as NFTs and earn rewards while participating in the ecosystem. Many players have become virtual real estate moguls, improving their plots with items bought on the marketplace. Lands can combine to become larger and more valuable estates and districts. You can participate in other ways to make money with your land than just flipping it. You can hold events and games, charging an entry fee and hopefully attracting many paying users. The Sandbox provides players with multiple ways to build value and transfer it into other titles or entirely out of the gaming ecosystem. The developers utilized NFT technology to ensure that players could easily keep track of their creations. NFTs are blockchain-based tokens that can represent in-game assets. They are blockchain verifiable and transferable. Sandbox uses three different tokens, lands, assets, and sand, to create a circular economy between players, creators, curators, and landowners. Sand is an ERC-20 token. It's used to purchase goods and services in the marketplace. Staking. Users can stake sand to generate passive revenues on lands. This is how users can get gems and catalysts, which they need for asset creation. Sandbox operates a fee capture model in which 5% of transaction fees in SAN tokens are allocated with 50% to the staking pool as rewards and 50% to the foundation. Governance. SAND is also a governance token that allows holders to exercise voting rights on key roadmap features and grants to creators. Holders of SAND can delegate their voting rights to other players. Access the Sandbox platform. Players spend sand to play games, buy equipment, and customize their avatar character. They can collect sand through gameplay. Creators spend sand to acquire assets, lands, and through staking. Land sales drive demand for sand to purchase lands. Artists spend sand to upload assets to the marketplace and buy gems for defining rarity and scarcity, the white paper says. Foundation The foundation supports the sandbox ecosystem by providing grants to incentivize content and game creation. The price of SAN tokens was around 80 cents in late October, jumping to an all-time high of $3.45 on 3 November, in response to news of the SoftBank investment on 2 November. 
The SAN token price slid to $2.05 on 10 November, but moved back up to a high of $8.51 on 25 November. On 12 November, NFT developer Green Park said it partnered with community NFT platform Grow Your Base and development studio MV Studios to expand Green Park into the sandbox game. In Q1 2022, we'll invite our NFT holders to help shape and experience this exciting new expansion, Green Park said. On 1 December, Sandbox announced it was selling virtual plots adjacent to the plot where rapper Snoop Dogg was supposedly building his mansion, the Snoopverse. On 3 December, it was revealed that someone had paid 149 ETH, which is around $620,000, for the Metaflower Super Mega Yacht, NFT created for the Sandbox Metaverse by Republic Realm as part of its fantasy collection. The most important event of the Sandbox's price history was by far Facebook's announcement. Before it, the token barely managed to reach an all-time high of a dollar in September. Sand was trading at about five cents for months until late January 2021, when it started following the rest of the market in the amazing 2020-2021 bull run. It had its first major peak at about 85 cents in March, a few months before Ethereum hit its May high. Even though its run-up to 85 cents and then a dollar was massive, it was outdone the first week of November, shooting up to over seven dollars in a matter of days. After it nudged $8 and nearly an $8 billion market capitalization, it dropped about 20% and hasn't recovered yet. It still has a market cap above $5 billion, efficiently placing it within the top 50 cryptos. After Facebook's announcement, tokens like Sand skyrocketed. On the surface, this reaction makes perfect sense. More people are learning about the technology to drive a lot of adoption to the existing platforms. However, Facebook just announced that it would be launching what assuredly will be the Sandbox's most significant competition. A tech giant is joining the space, likely to drive over the existing projects with a metaphorical steamroller. Until Meta's Metaverse releases, Decentraland is likely its greatest rival. The two projects are quite similar on the surface. They are both Metaverse games built around a cryptocurrency and have an NFT-based economy. There are substantial differences between them, however. The Sandbox allows its users to create almost anything with innovative 3D editing software. Decentraland is a little more basic, but that might be more desirable for the average person. Decentraland also has many more active users at the time of writing and seems to be getting a bit more brand attention. The cryptocurrency market is still in shock from Bitcoin and Ethereum seeing new all-time high prices earlier this year. Heading into the end of 2021, many cryptocurrencies look bullish but remain under their all-time high prices. The trend in Q4 2021 seems to be on Layer 1 smart contract blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, as well as Avalanche and Metaverse cryptocurrencies like Mana and Sand. Many of the top altcoins like Binance Coin, Solana, Terra and Avalanche have done well as of late. There is still room for many of the best altcoins to explode too. Most crypto investors are bullish for at least the short term, but the bull run can't last forever. Crypto experts have predicted that the price of the SAND crypto token could rise in the coming years. But it is essential to keep in mind that cryptocurrency volatility makes it difficult to make accurate predictions. Forecasting sites can get their predictions wrong, so you should do your own research to make informed trading decisions. Keep in mind that past performance is no guarantee of future returns. The Sandbox could be a fantastic investment, and it has been for some investors. If you bought it in January, you would be up over 10,000%. However, it is a precarious investment like most altcoins. If the game fails to bring in users and investors, the price of sand will probably plummet over time. It's impossible to tell whether the Sandbox will be a significant player in Metaverse games in even a year, but it's likely a better bet than some of its smaller competitors. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on the Sand altcoin? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day today, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.